it is nonetheless unusual to be walking around in a t-shirt in underpants at mid-morning when there are ladies around and only one gent, me being the gent. These are true tales of my African adventures. May this inspire you, deter you, caution you and above all entertain you. One thing I wish to tell you is that snakes and wild animals are not playthings. Um, they're not there to be messed with and although people may seem to make it look easy to work with them that is um, terrible terrible accidents can happen and bear this in mind as we go through these stories sometimes we make it sound a little too easy or a little too funny but bear in mind there is a terrible consequence awaiting each mistake in this industry. Well this one was not so bad, in fact it was quite funny, despite the dangers. I was cleaning an enclosure in which there was a, about a seven foot long Egyptian cobra. Now they were called Egyptian cobras in those days. They've since been called snouted cobras, but they get just as big despite the name change. And they are incredibly poisonous. So a large one could kill quite a few people if you spread the venom out between them. A very, very dangerous snake. I've almost died from the envenomation from one of these snouted cobras. This was a big one. It was the middle of winter and freezing cold where we were at the time. We were keeping the snakes in the south of Johannesburg on a friend's farm. Uh, his father gave us permission. You know, when you're young, you don't have money to own your own property, and we were young. So there we were. On the property were a number of cottages, and all the gents were usually at work during the day, and there were a number of ladies there, uh, young ladies uh, who lived there, and they would uh, sit around and chat sometimes when they weren't doing work in the, their respective apartments. And they were up and down, very friendly, nice bunch of girls. Um, so I was cleaning out the enclosure. Now I took the snake out, big robust snake with uh, very unusual coloring and uh, very handsome actually. And I put it on the lawn in the sun. It was so cold, the poor thing was half frozen, even though it had uh, some mild heating in its enclosure. We never gave them um, heating to keep them very hot in winter. We wanted them to have a natural lie over in winter, so the heating wasn't uh, very hot. Put him on the lawn so he could enjoy the sunlight. I was wearing bell-bottom jeans. You might remember, it was the fashion in those days. <clears throat> and I had kicked my shoes off and I was working barefoot. So I thought I'd quickly clean the enclosure while the uh, snake was lying on the lawn absorbing the warm, soft, gentle sun, which would do him a world of good. Uh, I obviously took a bit long cleaning. And when I turned around to go back to him, he was more awake than I anticipated. And as I came close, he lunged, he didn't spread a hood, he didn't stand his body upwards spreading a hood, he lunged at me. And thankfully, those bell bottoms that were flapping around caught his attention and he grabbed hold of my trousers, a good solid bite. Well, did I get a shock? Anyway, <clears throat> I realized he hadn't got, got me, he had my trousers only. So I immediately grabbed him behind the head and try to get him off. Now, as I've told you before, these cobras like to bite and hang on. They don't like to let go. And he pumped a lot of venom into my trousers, thinking, of course, he was biting me. Well, I had only one choice left because I couldn't get him off the trousers and uh, I could have ripped him off, but then I would have damaged the snake's jaw and, uh, in, and, and hurt him very much. Um, I undid my belt, dropped my zip and took the pants off and then took snake and pants and put them back into the enclosure. I now had to go down through the uh, apartments 
where all the young ladies were and uh, although they're not all that prudish and I certainly wasn't all that prudish it is nonetheless unusual to be walking around in a t-shirt in underpants at mid-morning when there are ladies around and only one gent, me being the gent. So didn't want them to get any odd ideas about uh, what I was up to. So uh, I had to walk down. They walked down. Uh, a few of them were outside, looked at me kind of oddly, and I tried uh, lamely to explain what happened and uh, at least attracted one good wolf whistle. I guess my legs weren't that bad. And uh, carried on down feeling a little bit embarrassed t-shirt and underpants mid-morning uh, in amongst some uh, young ladies got to my partner's house broke in because it was locked um, well I didn't damage much but anyway I got in uh, by forcing something and went and found a pair of his trousers put those on went back and um, there the snake was still clinging onto my trousers so I had to wait quite a time before he let go and it, he let go when he thought I wasn't around anymore because he thought he was still biting me. He then snuck off into his box and I was able to retrieve my trousers, do a trousers swap, go and put the other ones back and that was the end of that. I tell you another day, another lesson learned.